Hi everyone, today I'm gonna do something slightly different. I've seen this video done on YouTube before. I know Stephanie Marie has done a version of this and also Risa Does Makeup's done a version of this video. I will link both of their videos in the description box for everyone if you want to go and check theirs out. I'm gonna put my own little spin on it. So if all of my makeup suddenly disappeared and I'd got an event to go to in four hours, what eight products would I rush out and buy first. So with the whole event thing happening in four hours, this stops me from purchasing any products that I can only get online. These have to be the products that are available for me to purchase in my own town. So just makes it a little more interesting as a lot of my ultimate favorite products I have to purchase from overseas or from a website and I am just not gonna be able to do that. So let's get straight on with it. If you're new here, hi, my name's Gemma. I upload two to three videos here on YouTube every single week. I'm also on Instagram if you fancy checking me out over there. And I'd really appreciate it if you found this video funny, entertaining, helpful in any way. Come and join the Pampered Wolf Pack by clicking on that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. So I thought this would be a really fun concept for a video. In hindsight, honestly, I was sat up in bed last night not being able to sleep thinking, what if this actually happened to me? <laughs> Complete and utter disaster. I mean, not as much of a nightmare as all of my skincare disappearing, the meltdown you would be able to see from space if that ever happened to me, but... Because I've built my collection up over time and uh, I obviously would not be able to go out and buy all of my favorite products because budget would not allow me to. I've got some quite pricey products that are my ultimate favorites. So if I had to go out and buy everything all in one go, I would have to keep it to a budget. And I'm thinking for all of the eight products, under 130 pounds would be sort of around about there. I mean, I've not even worked out how much I've spent here, so I'm hoping that we're under that. We might not be, but we'll see. So firstly, I would need a foundation. Foundation is really important to me. So if I've only got one foundation, I want it to be versatile. I want to be able to have sheer coverage and mix this maybe with a moisturizer. And I also want to be able to get a really decent amount of coverage. I also would love this to be radiant, but also have the ability to mattify this down with a little bit of powder. So. The product that I've chosen is a relatively new product for me, but I absolutely adore it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I've gone for the shade three, which is absolute perfection on me. I love this. I just think it is so super versatile and it's really, really long wearing if I treat it in the right way. So this is my choice. I can seriously shear this out if I want to. I can really build this up very, very easily. And it's also quick to apply. And that means a lot to me when I'm in a hurry. This is also a really hydrating foundation without being heavy. This is super lightweight. It's also not over nourishing so that I look sweaty at the end of the day. It's just the right amount of hydration and nourishment. And even though this is an illuminating foundation, this still perfects my skin. So it glides over those pores. It airbrushes out my texture. Not quite sure how it does it, but it does manage to do it. And it looks super, super flattering on my skin. By the way, all of the products that I'm going to share with you, I have on today. So this is the look that can be achieved by all eight products. Next, concealer. And this is where I would compromise slightly. So my ultimate favorite is a combination of two concealers. And on a budget, I just wouldn't be able to stretch that far. So I've gone for a Revolution concealer knowing that this is super full coverage. This is also a more matte finish on the surface of the skin. But if I wanted to, I could loosen this off with a serum or a little bit of moisturizer or even a little bit of face oil to give it slightly less coverage or a bit more of a hydrating feel. This is from Revolution and it's the Conceal and Define Infinite. And it's such a great concealer. 
It's also self-setting, although with the amount that I feel I require, I like to set this in place. If I only want a little bit of coverage, I don't need to set this at all. So while we're on that subject, let's talk about my third item, which is in fact powder. And if I was doing this video maybe five years ago, I probably wouldn't have bought powder at all. I would have skipped that step, let everything self set and buy something else with the money that I got to play with. But now my skin is slightly altering, my skin is getting a little oilier in places and both of these products really do rely on a good powder for not only versatility but also longevity. So a good powder is essential for me. So the powder that I've chosen that I can actually buy in my local boots is from Huda Beauty and this is the Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder and I've gone for the shade Pound Cake. This comes in several different shades so you can really cater to your own skin tone and this is absolute perfection on me. It's so finely milled, it's really refined. I cannot believe they are able to sell this for the price that they're selling it for. If this was in Charlotte Tilbury packaging, it would be double the price. It really diffuses the shine on the skin. You can use this as a setting powder, you can use this as a finishing powder, it works for both and yeah. It's just amazing stuff. I can also use this to set underneath my eyes, which I can't do with a lot of setting powders. Just the tiniest bit on the end of a damp blending sponge, dab that in, I'm good to go. It's brilliant. Moving on to the fourth product that I would rush out and rebuy in a heartbeat. This is actually the most expensive out of all eight products that feature in this video, but I do have excuses, so bear with me. This is one of my ultimate favorite products of all time. I adore it, and therefore I know I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this in the months to come. It's not gonna be one of those quick fix products that's then gonna sit in a drawer collecting dust, although having said that, none of the products that feature in this video are in that category, so. I will retract that. Next excuse, this is two products. Two products in one. I was gonna say two products for the price of one, but you are actually paying for both of these but you are getting two. This is from Charlotte Tilbury and it is the Film Star Bronze and Glow. As you will see, the pan for the bronzer is heavily used. The pan for the highlighter is not. And that's because I have so many other highlighters in the drawer behind me, I tend not to dip into this one. But if all of my makeup disappeared, I would have no other alternative. So I would definitely use this. I've used it today underneath my brow bone, on the tops of my cheeks, and also in the center of my lid. I've used the bronze as a sculpt, so as a little bit of contour. I've also used it as a bronzer and I've also used it as my transition shade on my eyes as well. You could also dampen a brush, dip into this and use this as a liner as well. So it is super, super versatile and I love it. I absolutely adore this. This is also the perfect shade for my fair skin and I've always struggled to find bronzers that aren't too warm, that don't make me look orange and also aren't too deep in shade. This is perfection, it's really beautiful, it's cool toned and it's light enough for my fair skin but I can build this up if I want a little bit more depth. Okay, so I've got foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer and highlight. Let's move on to blush. And this is where I think a lot of you are going to be shocked because blush is my thing. If you've been a regular to my channel for some time, you will know I adore blush. But I have some quite expensive options in the drawer behind me and I'm not choosing any one of those. I just adore blush. I adore a good blush regardless of how much it costs and um, this one goes without exception. It's just wonderful. It's from Milani. I've spoken about this on my channel so many times before. You're probably really bored of me mentioning it, but it's so beautiful. This is the Baked Powder Blush in the shade Luminoso, which is 05. They also have a more pinky version of this, but I love the warmth and the corally apricot vibes that this gives off. It just gives me sunshine vibes every single day. And it is so flat on the skin. I mean, ha -ha. 
I actually surprised myself when I was picking the blush for this video because I have so many beautiful blushes in the drawer behind me that I thought I would never be able to live without and it turns out when push comes to shove, when all my makeup disappears, this is the one that I choose to go and buy first. I mean, obviously every week I would buy another one from my collection, <laughs> but this is the first. I mean, that's a result. Moving on to mascara. Now, I always like to double up on my mascaras. I like a lengthening mascara to apply first, and then I like to apply a volumizing mascara just on those outer lashes to give a lifted appearance. And I just can't afford to do that in this video. If all of my makeup disappeared, I would have to pick one product. So I've gone for the next best thing. This is a relatively new product for me. It's from Maybelline, and it's the Colossal Curl Bounce Mascara. I've got the shade Very Black. I think there's another shade, but it's also still black. I thought this was slightly difficult to remove when I first wore this, and I did let you know in my full face of New Drugstore the other day that that was the case. I've since found a product that just removes this really easily. It's the brand new Micellar Water from CeraVe. Now, other Micellar Waters would probably do the same job, but I have been testing out that product, and although I don't like to use it on my entire face as an eye makeup remover, I think it is absolutely amazing. So I will link that also in the description box for everybody, but this is such a great mascara. It doesn't transfer on me at all. It adds length, it adds a bit of volume, and it seriously adds a curl and holds the curl for the entire day. So what's not to like? So let's move on to brows. Now I can give or take brows, I can go out without my brows done, but if I'm going to an event, I would feel half naked, I think, if I didn't have my brows done. So. I am doing brows on a budget and uh, still managed to get them looking really nice today. I love this look. I completely decided to not buy a brow gel or a brow sculpt, which would be my usual preference. Instead, I've gone in with a transparent bar of soap, just any old transparent bar of soap that you've got hanging around the house. Give it a wash get it in your brows. I used my little spoolie that is caked in it at the moment, so that wasn't very pleasant to see, but yes, this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills 7B spoolie and little brush, so I've used that. A little bit of water on this, if you want to, you can judge it up with a little bit of setting spray if you have one, if that's one of your items that you choose to buy if all of your makeup disappears. It isn't mine, so I just used water. So um, yeah, just rub it in there and then get it in your brows. It does dry clear, so you don't have to worry about that. No, it doesn't irritate my skin. That is not gonna be the same for everybody. So if you find that this is irritating your skin, you really should remove it immediately, but I've never had a problem. The one that I have is Pears Transparent Soap. I will link it if I can find a link for it in the description box, but I've had this one for ages and it's never let me down. Then to fill in those brows and make individual little brow hairs to make my brows look a little bit more natural, I've gone for the NYX Lift and Snatch. Again, I've spoken about this so often on my channel. This rivals any high-end brow pen that I've ever tried. It's amazing. This doesn't go green on me. This doesn't change in colour on me as the day goes on. This doesn't bleed. And considering that I had applied soap before it and not actually a makeup brow sculpt, this went on so easily. Uh, I actually wore this yesterday as well with the soap and it wore beautifully all day. Absolute perfection. It's just a great product. Comes in lots of different shades. I've got the shade Ash Brown. Just a little bit of extra info that I've just thought about and now I'm kicking myself for not using it like this today. You could easily double this up as an eyeliner if you wanted to. If I wanted that liquid eyeliner lifted cat eye look for my event in four hours that is totally made up. I mean, all I've got to look forward to is the school run. <laughs> I could have used this as a liquid eyeliner 
And the last out of my eight products is a lip liner. You can do so much with a lip liner. I can line my lips and make them look slightly bigger and then apply maybe a face oil for a bit of gloss. I could line my lips and also fill in the entire portion of my lips to get a bit more color. Also mix this with a little bit of moisturizer to get myself more of a moisturizing lipstick look if I wanted to. Today I've gone for the NYX lip pencil in the shade natural which I love. This is the one that's more versatile for me because it's the one that's closest to my natural lip colour. I can get a really natural look with this or I can really go to town filling the entire lip body, giving my lips more volume, giving them the appearance of being a bit bouncier, a bit fuller. And then I topped this off with a bit of lip balm, which I do not class as makeup. I class this as skincare. That's the story I'm sticking to and it just makes it look more like a lipstick and it feels beautiful. So that's it for today. All the products that are featured in this video I have on my skin today and no others. There are no extra products that I've just dotted in for good measure, hoping that you wouldn't notice. Only eight products are on my face today. They are all super versatile products and also really long wearing as well. So I hope you've really enjoyed this video. I hope you found it entertaining or helpful. Do let me know what you've thought about it in the comments section and hope to see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.